all live in this world together. The same blood flows in me and every any other person. We are facing the challenges of an ecosystem that is stressed. Things are not moving as fast as they should. Things are improving, but not as fast as they should. The challenges that we are facing, they are materializing so fast that it's not only my children or grandchildren which will experience the consequences if we fail. We have the plan. We have the technology. We have the tools. Let's just do it. 20 years ago, a small group of United Nations and business leaders came up with a visionary proposal. I propose that you, the business leaders here gathered in Davos, and we, the United Nations, initiate a global compact of shared values and principles which will give a human face to the global market. I always say part of Kofi Annan's genius was he invited business, but he also addressed civil society and labor organizations. The mission of the United Nations Global Compact is to mobilize companies around the world to align their operations and strategies with 10 universal principles in the areas of human rights, labor, environment, and anti-corruption. For me, the UN is the beacon of principles, values, and humanism in the world. And at the UN Global Compact, we are trying to embody the values and the thinking of the UN. Our objectives uh, cannot be met if the private sector doesn't play an, a fundamental role. And so the Global Compact is a, a platform in which all those uh, businesses that abide by the principles of, uh, and values of the United Nations and of the Charter uh, to work together representing uh, the best of humankind. For the last two decades, the initiative has grown to encompass local networks in more than 60 countries, engaging directly with over 10,000 companies. Local networks are the main assets of the Global Compact because we are on the ground. And their mission is to translate the 10 principles and the global goals into the national business community. At Rio Plus 20, the United Nations Global Compact mobilized the business community, paving the way for more meaningful private sector engagement in shaping the sustainability agenda. Any business that continues to operate under its own self-interest will not be around very long. So businesses that have a strong purpose, that understand how they can make society better, will be embraced by society and will be around for a long time. It is so decided. Since 2015, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Agreement have provided the most powerful common agenda that the world has ever seen with an essential role spelled out for business. De Paris pour le est if every company could align with any of the goals, we're all going to be in a better place. I truly believe that companies who do not put sustainability, the SDGs, in their strategies, they're going to disappear. Consumers themselves are becoming very, very, are, are actually demanding from the businesses. They become more, more responsible and actually support the SDGs. The United Nations Global Compact is leading the transformation ahead, challenging companies to take more ambitious action on the sustainable development goals. I think it's absolutely impossible to face the challenges of today, the very quick change uh, that is happening, without having the youth uh, leading the way and helping us define uh, the right strategies, the right policies, the right approaches to address uh, the, the global problems. The world is waking up and change is coming whether you like it or not. <laughs> We only have 10 years to go to reach the SDGs and we need everyone.
you find people in the most desperate of situations determined to fight for a better future. That's the kind of world I want. What has changed in a very short period of time is that the narrative is different, and that is fantastic. If you want to have a good business, you have to mobilize people. The business is the sum of people working to something. More and more people realize that sustainability is really about making the pie bigger, better, and more inclusive. I hope in the future all businesses in the world will think about their own purpose. Businesses can only exist when they have a purpose. You have to be part of a sustainable society. You have to be on the right side of history. I really like to think about us as one big family, as one global compact, that are working together with one vision, with one strategy to unite business for a better world. We are united across the globe, for the globe. We're united despite our challenges, no matter how daunting the task may seem. We are united by possibilities because this is bigger than one business, because we are better together. We all have the same job. We are united in the business of a better world. <laughs>